Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ami. If you're new here today, I'm gonna be doing a video about things that I started to carry and things I started to need while being here in Japan. Just things I didn't really carry around or need in Canada. Yeah, I just feel like for anyone who's planning to come travel here to Japan once the borders open, this might be useful for you. So I hope you enjoy it. こんにちは。今日はえっと日本に来てからなんか持ち歩き始めたものとか必要なものとかをみんなに紹介したいと思います。ま、私はカナダにいる間に全然こう持たないものをこっちで持つようになったり、し始めたので、それをみんなにシェ
、まあ、決まった分しか持ってないのであのなるべく使わないようにはしてるけど、まあ、スイカがダメっていう時は現金使うみたいなで、まあ、スイカとパスモの違いがあんまり分かんないんだけど多分ほぼ同じもので、まあ、違う会社っていう感じだと思うんですけど、まあ、海外のカードがあんまり取らない場所が多いのでスイカを入れてからやっぱり結構楽になりました The next thing I recommend for foreigners coming here is definitely get a SIM card for Japan because this is my first year actually getting a SIM card for Japan because I've always carried around portable Wi-Fi things definitely a SIM card is better I don't know if I would recommend the one that I'm using right now it's fine but it's not fast internet or anything、um, it's pretty slow it's only fast on YouTube and Google Maps which doesn't really make sense but that's what that is and have a Japanese phone number Right now, I mean, that makes my life a lot easier, and having data is way easier than having a portable Wi Fi thing because Japanese Wi Fi out here is not very friendly to foreign phones, like, you can't really connect. I don't really connect to Japanese Wi Fi, anyways, but yeah, if I wanted to, then I think it would be easier for me to rather than having a foreign phone. Definitely get a SIM card, you can like pick them up at the airport when you land, and there's like prepaid SIM cards and stuff like that, so I definitely recommend that if you are going to be traveling out here. SIM カードですね、まあ、日本の SIM カードは私持ったことなくて今年初めてやったんですけど、まあ、今使ってる会社はまあまあなんですよなんかデータがすごい早いわけでもないんだけど YouTube と Google マップスは謎にすごく早いんだけど他のこうインスタとかあの普通の Google なんかリビューとか読みたいとかそういう時には全然遅くてもう諦めるぐらいの遅さなんですけど、まあ、自分のこう日本の電話番号があるしで、まあ、データがいつも使えるっていうのはやっぱりありがたいと思うのでよくこうプリペイドの SIM カードがあるから空港に着いた時になんかピックアップしに行くみたいなそういう形とかあるのでまあだからねなんか海外の電話だとあんまりこっちの w i f i とかにもつなげにくいしやっぱり SIM カードがあった方がだいぶ楽だと思います前までいつもなんか持っていけるあの w i f i とか持ってたんだけど SIM カードの方が楽ですね Uh, next thing is cash. So, a lot of places don't take foreign car credit cards, and if they don't also take Suica, then you only have a cash option. Yeah, definitely cash is important because even at the place that I was just eating at, they only took cash, so I had to carry it obviously with me. And so, thank God I had it, but I always carry around cash with me because some restaurants don't take the visa or my Suica, so definitely carry around cash. And that's something different because I haven't carried cash in Vancouver for years. Like, I never ever use cash. In Vancouver, so、um, it's always my credit card, and I think it would be the same if I had a Japanese credit card out here. Maybe I would use that, but even my siblings who live in Japan they also carry cash, so I definitely think that's a big one. Like, always make sure that you have cash on you so that you don't run into problems when you go to a restaurant that doesn't take anything other than cash. Yeah, that's something different. Let's see, you are Genkin, this is like Genkin, but the kick was scarred in this year, and then you have Vancouver, then you have Genkin, like, well, none of them, none of them, more than that, they have a little credit card. 使ってないので日本に住んでたらね日本のクレジットカードだったらそれで買い物したり現金持たなくてもいいのかなと思っちゃうけどでもお兄ちゃんとお姉ちゃんもここに住んでて現金持つので、まあ、現金は持ってた方が安心だと思います、まあ、レストラン行った時になんかスイカもビザもダメって言ったらもうそれしかないので,で、まあ、ビザもスイカもダメだったらそれにするみたいな感じの形で私は今それで旅行してます。And the last thing I have to share with you guys is Google Maps. <laughs> so back at home, I always just had the regular maps, like the Apple Maps or something. And then I always had Waze for like driving and stuff. But out here, With the train stuff, like Google Maps has been so good to me. Again, like my SIM card really gets along with Google Maps, and the data is really fast and it tells me which train and which exit and stuff. So it's just been a game changer. I use Google Maps every single day, and it's just been my best friend. It's my most used app right now. So, yeah, definitely download that. Maybe you could do it with Apple Maps, but I'm not really sure. I think Google Maps is better. The last thing is Google Maps. Is、ね、like, 電車に乗るときもやっぱり何号車に乗った方が一番出口に早いかとかも全部教えてくれたりでまあさっき言ったように私のこの SIM カードのデータのプランとすごく相性がいいみたいで<笑> Google マップスがだからまあ本当に毎日一日中使ってるのでそうですね日本に来てから Google マップスは必要だなと思いました Apple マップスと Waze はいつもカナダで使ってるんだけど、まあ、ここでは Waze 使えると思うんだけど、まあ、ここで私今運転してないのでいらないかなって感じですね And just some like extra things that I'm gonna tell you guys that like some Apps that I started downloading once I came out here. So, like I said, Google Maps. Next one is E, plus because I've been trying to get tickets for this artist I really, really love and want to see. uh Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to get into it. I don't have tickets yet. But yes, so I really wanted tickets on that. So, E, plus And I had to change my Apple Store location to Japan in order to get this. 
app. So I'm not really sure which apps in here you can get with your like home country um, location on the Apple Store or which ones are only in Japan. But E Plus is only in Japan. So just keep that in mind in case you're gonna go to a concert or something. Yes, I have that. The next one I have is Meetup. Meetup is basically just exactly what it sounds like. It's a place to make friends and they have these events and stuff that you can attend and meet new people and whatnot. So you could definitely do that if you want to interact with some people. So you can like check the events around your area and stuff. So I got that. あ、私はイプラスまチケットを買うためのイプラスとでミートアップっていう友達を作るアプリみたいな。まあ、なんかTinder next one I have is Big Echo which is a karaoke room cuz you get a way better deal if you're a member of this place. So, yeah, I got that because I was going to karaoke like every few days. The next one I have is X app, which is a Shinkansen bullet train app. So yeah, that's what I use to book my Shinkansen bullet train um, out here and I'm gonna continue to use it during this trip. So that's something. Let's see X app Shinkansen no. Um, I have Suica, the one I told you guys. And the last one I have is Ekinetto, which is another bullet train Shinkansen app. Different company, so you have to book it off of this one if you're going to be using this company. It's a little confusing, but yeah, that's what I had to do. Oh, and one thing I should tell you guys is Ekinetto allows foreign credit cards, but X app does not. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you want to do Shinkansen trips when you're out here, then you can buy tickets at the station and go on the bullet train so you don't have to do it in advance like on the app but just keep that in mind I don't know Ikinetto is more foreign friendly I guess but they only have everything in Japanese from what I know so far um, X app everything is in English so it's very confusing but you can buy bullet train tickets at the station so it's really not that big of a deal if you can't get those apps but you go to the X app まあ、別にエキでね、新幹線のキップを買うこともできるので、別にその焦らなくてもこのアプリなくても全然乗れるので。But that is basically everything I have to share with you guys today. Um, those are just things that I wish I knew before I came out here and things I wish I had put in my phone before I came out here. So, big thanks to my siblings for helping me out and like letting me know about these apps and like different ways to get around. So, definitely check those out if you're gonna come out here do you guys have plans to come to japan once the borders open what is your plan are you going to be traveling this year let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching this video so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like the video if you enjoyed it. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be continuing my vlog. I'm filming this in the middle of my vlog. So if you wanna follow me on my Japan adventures, make sure you stay tuned because I post very, very often. So yeah, I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye!